Hello everybody, I'm your host Jerry Gatka, my co-host. Chantel Fielder. And we're going to talk today on our show with someone you may not have seen before for talking about a place that you may not be familiar with, the Engineers Club, right in Mount Vernon. Beautiful place, beautiful place to go visit, and we find out it's a social club open to everybody, including you. You don't want to miss it. We're here talking today with Jay Bittner. Jay, you're associated with the Engineers Club. What, what is your function, title? Uh, well, my title is the Associate Executive Director there, uh, okay. which for the most part means uh, I have a large hand in running the day-to-day -day operations of the club. So you do just about everything? Just about everything. <laughs> T tell everybody what is the purpose of the Engineers Club? What is the function? The purpose of the Engineers Club is a private uh, social club. It was founded by the engineers. Uh, who rebuilt the city of Baltimore after its great fire in 1904, um, and they formed the club in 1905. Uh, and fast forwarding through their history, so I don't uh, drag we, we on. Don't, we don't want to hit every year. <laughs> in 1962, uh, they purchased the Garrett Jacobs Mansion from the city of Baltimore, and at that time they changed the bylaws of the club, uh, opening up beyond engineers to all business professionals. So as it stands now, some 50-ish years later, uh, this is a private social club for all uh, business professionals uh, in the Baltimore and surrounding uh, communities. Uh, we're very diverse, uh, you know, not just a rich white old men's club. We have lots of uh, women and minorities, uh, both in the club as well as leadership positions, just like we do in the business uh, community around greater Baltimore. So it is a private social club that of like-minded people who get together to um, use the space of the Garrett Jacobs Mansion, which is a glorious Gilded Age uh, facility, uh, and they get to use it for uh, both their personal and professional uses. Yeah, I've, I've been there many times. It's a beautiful facility. I've, mm -hmm. I've been there mostly for concert artists. Sure. Um, their concerts that they have down there. It's, it's, uh, tell us where it is. Uh, it's located uh, in Mount Vernon, uh, right near the monument. Uh, it's, Many people call Mount Vernon the cultural heartbeat of the city, which is why you probably see the concert artists there. Uh, we're also located near many other uh, cultural institutions such as Center Stage and Meyerhoff. And the, um, uh, what's the school that I'm trying to think of? That's right. Peabody Versus Conservatory. Peabody. How can I not think of a Peabody? <laughs> anyway. Uh, what are the, how do you become a member? Is it an invitation? Or? Uh, well, uh, you can become a member uh, by uh, mainly even just being invited uh, to come and visit the club. Essentially, uh, one either has to be invited by a current member of the club or be uh, interviewed, uh, for lack of a better word, by uh, either myself or the executive director who are uh, 
agents of the board of the club and allowed to uh, recruit new members. That way we can keep a more diverse uh, population growing. Um, and currently we are uh, trying to court younger members of uh, under 40 demographics. Well, that leaves me out, Sean. No. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, we recruit all members oh, here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> But uh, as you know, we all get older every year, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and if a club continues to just grow older, it will die out. Uh, and so we are trying. We've got a lot of success in uh, the over 40 demographic joining. So we need to improve the under 40 demographic so the overall health. So you don't need my money, but you, okay. we need both. <laughs> we need both. Yeah. Um, what are some of the advantages, benefits of being a member? Being a member uh, allows you many different things. Uh, one is uh, the ability to use uh, that Garrett Jacobs Mansion uh, for Beautiful personal facility. or private functions, uh, whether it's as small as a, a client meeting that's one-on-one uh, -on -one or, or two-on-one, -on -one, uh, or as large scale as running a trade show, or you want to say you uh, work with a charity and you want to hold a fundraising event there. Uh, or as uh, intimate as, say, uh, maybe a, a birthday party for your grandmother, uh, or um, perhaps you want to throw a, a, a holiday Christmas party. Uh, all those things are uses that might happen in the club. And while we're this old historic from the, the last century uh, uh, mansion and facility, we have a lot of the modern amenities that allow for the business professionals to carry on and and do their work. Uh, yeah, I never had any problems finding the men's room there. <laughs> no, men's room is good, but I mean, t I'm talking about uh, having Wi-Fi throughout the mansion, teleconference facilities, uh, and those things really help uh, businessmen and women get work done. Uh, and in that same token, the club has also embraced uh, a little bit more the modern uh, style of doing business in terms of like dress code. I mean, I like to joke since I like to wear ascots all the time that you don't have to wear an ascot to come to the club. You don't have to wear a tie either. Uh, they, uh, I have a drawer full of ascots at home. Oh, very good. You know, <laughs> please come to join me for lunch and we'll be the ascot brothers. I might take you up on that. Uh, we uh, have to invite Chantel. And we, of course, will invite Chantel. I thank you. <laughs> and Loretta. Now, of course, you could join me for lunch there, both of you. And uh, and one of the, which leads me to a lot of the other benefits. Well, it's a there social club. Mm -hmm. What are some of the activities? Right. So there's. Um, of course, uh, member dining, lunch, uh, dinner, uh, and a member's bar. Uh, in the bar, we have uh, lots of different uh, activities that go on. We have a trivia night that happens monthly in the fall and in the spring. Uh, we also have a very popular this year, Whiskey Wednesdays. So on, uh, on Wednesdays, we offer a different selection of whiskeys at a little reduced price. I'm a um, bourbon drinker. So. And there are several bourbons on there. There's a nice one uh, called Bowman Brothers this month. Um, and uh, we also have a uh, wine society, which meets eight times a year. So it's a little more um, lead uh, tasting, where you learn a little bit either about a wine or a region or a winemaker or a vineyard. Uh, we have uh, Sunday brunches and holiday brunches. Uh, everything yeah, from some of the brunches and the foods are oh, really fantastic. It is. It, uh, Chef Coven and his staff do a great job. Uh, we have uh, just coming up because this is uh, November. We have a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, fabulous way to leave the uh, cooking and cleaning and everything at home and uh, come in and really relax and enjoy uh, the opulence of, uh, of the Garrett Jacobs. Can they come back after Thanksgiving for leftovers? Yeah, well, there's <laughs> not leftovers, but coming back after Thanksgiving, I mean, the, December That's is That's what great. I about going out for Thanksgiving, the leftovers. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, yeah. The, uh, the great thing about December months uh, are is that there's, it's filled with a myriad of the activities that happen throughout the year. There's the Monument Lighting Party, which if you live in the okay. city of Baltimore, you know that great celebration. Uh, and because the club is situated right on uh, one of the squares, uh, the members have a wonderful time uh, coming into reception and cocktail hour, heading out, seeing the fireworks and the hoopla, and then coming back in for and dinner afterwards. Warm, yes. And getting warm, yes. Uh, which is always important these days. Uh, we also have a Santa brunch, uh, we have a sparkling wine tasting, we have a holiday cabaret, and of course we end December with a, a fabulous black tie New Year's Eve gala, um, which is probably one of the most affordable New Year's Eve galas uh, in the city at, a, at well, uh, $80 a person. If it's under $100, it's affordable. Exactly. It's under $100. Uh, and, and these are the types of 
uh, activities that we bring to the members, not just wonderful activities in an unparalleled facility in the city, but we really try to give them a good value for those activities. Uh, so I, I really think there's a place for everyone at the Engineers Club. I noticed um, the last time I was there, um, which was also my first time there, there's this beautiful inside garden almost where mm -hmm. you guys you know took what was what i was told was the outside and you spent so much to kind of outfit it where you actually feel like you're outside but you don't feel the weather of outside correct what was the motivation and the inspiration behind that and how different does it look during the holidays well uh so as you mentioned the courtyard there uh which is now enclosed uh was once open and open air which was the original design of the uh, second architect at the mansion, John Russell Pope. Uh, and there's two entities that reside at the mansion. There's the Engineers Club and the Garrett Jacobs Mansion Endowment Fund. And the Endowment Fund uh, uh, raises money for all the rest beautiful restoration work you see there. And uh, the club uh, owns the building and uses it for uh, all of its various purposes. But when the Endowment Fund looked to raise money to restore the beauty of the other spaces that you see there, the, the gold gilding in the drawing room and the beautiful skylight and rich wood of the ballroom, they realized that that courtyard being open uh, to the elements uh, and the doorways that were all leading from outside to inside of all those beautiful spaces, uh, Mother Nature was finding a way to creep in. And as a result, they could not invest the millions of dollars to do that restoration work without finding a good way to keep Mother Nature at bay. So uh, in the winter of 2000, 2005, 2006, uh, they got that glass enclosed structure over the courtyard, which, as you, as you pointed out, uh, made this gorgeous kind of indoor-outdoor space, uh, but it's climate controlled, which is so wonderful. Um, we've talked about the the courtyard, mm -hmm. we've talked about some of the other architecture. I'm sure we've got some clips of some of these that we'll be willing, that we'll be ready to show to the audience. Let's take a short break and let the audience watch some of this. Beautiful walks of life, and one of the first questions I always get asked is, but do I have to be an engineer to join the Engineers Club? And the answer is clearly no. Uh, the engineers bought the club uh, from the city in 1962, and at that time they changed the bylaws, which made them much more inclusive. Previously, it was only engineers. But as you can see now in the last 50 years, we've become much more diverse uh, private club. Uh, we're inclusive of uh, both genders, of course, all business professionals, uh, races, creeds. It's a very, very diverse social club, which really reflects the diversity of the city of Baltimore. And what's great is that this club is in probably one of the gems. And if you haven't been in here before, you know it's a hidden gem from most of the people of the city of Baltimore. And as members, you get to bring that to bear, uh, whether you are trying to impress uh, a date, whether you're trying to impress your dad, whether you're trying to impress a client. Uh, there's nobody you bring through this door, literally, that is not going to be uh, thoroughly impressed. And I know that saying, seeing people who come in here, such as Kevin Spacey when they film The House of Cards, jaw dropping when he walks through the door for the first time. So when you see people like that have that reaction who've been everywhere, seen everything, and maybe done everything, you know you're sitting in a, in a gem. And you can all be a part of this. Uh, uh, many of you here, I notice, look to be under 40. Uh, we have some very wonderful membership uh, uh, opportunities for members under 40 and under 30. Uh, you can join the club uh, if you're under uh, 30 for as little as $35 a month in dues, and from 30 to 39, $55 a month in dues. I know that's all less than your mobile phone bills. So very, very easy to join the club and make this a part of your life, just like you might make a gym membership, although I guarantee you, you will come here and eat and drink far more often than you will probably go to the gym. But without further ado, I think one of the biggest things I want to uh, mention is that I have a drawing to do. So if you haven't yet put the business card in here, uh, please do so. Uh, because I'm going to draw for uh, two bottles of wine, and then I'm going to draw for a 90-day preview membership of the club that will allow you to use the club in the next 90 days. Um, all those wonderful events I was talking about are things you would be able to come to and use. Uh, you'd also be able to utilize the club for a small part of your event during that time. 
So if you uh, yeah. if you haven't yet given uh, Barry Casanova here your a card, or would you even put it on the way in the door? Please do so. Really? All right. Without further ado, uh, Barry, I'd like to draw for the white wine, a lovely South African Chardonnay from the Lent Carlo. <laughs> and the winner is Tia Schuckner. Congratulations, you're welcome. I hope you like wine, and if not, I know somebody over there does. And now we're we're drawing for Troublemaker, a red blend from Paso Robles, fabulous wine. Uh, and featured down on our bar right now. Patty Click. <laughs> and a troublemaker smile if I ever saw one. All right, and last but not least, this is for a 90-day preview membership. I'm sorry, members, but if your card is in here and isn't picked, it's invalid. <laughs> Got to. David Miller. David Miller, wonderful. Come right on up. Thank you very much. The last thing I want to mention uh, before I let you get back to all the lovely networking you were doing is that this gentleman here on my right, Barry Casanova, long-term member, uh, will be giving a tour of the mansion at 7.30 after this event. Um, I highly recommend the tour if you want to learn more about the building, the mansion, the history of both it as well as those who lived here. Thank you for your attention and thank you for coming this evening. It gives you a great example of some of the things that people can see at the mansion and, and, and feel because certainly there's a, a, a certain atmosphere. Oh, wonderful ambiance. I, and I honestly feel like the, what you've, they've just seen is just a taste of what you get. I mean, though you guys have both been there and you know what it's like when you're in that space, what you feel and the grandiose. And so I really think that uh, people from the city of Baltimore should find us and come and visit the and, mansion. And you have plans for that to happen in networking? Yes, we have quarterly networking happy hours, which are a great way to both uh, see the space uh, and get to know the club a little bit and meet some other business working men and women. Uh, we also set up private tours, so if uh, you have a group of uh, 15 or 20 and you wanted to have a real organized tour of the mansion, that's a possibility as well. And the contact information to make that happen? Uh, very simple, uh, www.e as in Edward, s as in Samuel, b as in boy, dot org. Uh, or you can email me at the world's shortest email address, the letter j at esb.org. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the shortest, but it got to be close to it, I would think. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else shorter than that. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. to Jay Bittner, uh, Chantel, my co-host and I, and Jay is with the Engineers Club, and he's telling us about how we can come and see what's going on down there and get involved and come to a happy hour. Certainly. Uh, networking happy hour is a great way to uh, meet some members of the club, uh, as well as meet other uh, business professionals. Uh, we host it usually in either that beautiful courtyard or, or the drawing room, uh, which you may have seen Days on the footage. Days and times? Or Days, they are on the third Thursdays, uh, once per quarter. They happen in uh, September, November, March, and June. September, November, we'll have to We tried to hold them in January and February, but weather was never uh, our friend in those months. I can understand that. I can understand that. Uh, you, I, I would assume you have short hours as well for the holidays for Thanksgiving? Uh, we, we do have some holiday closures, but we're open because it's a very busy time for uh, member events. Uh, 
But one of the great things about these uh, happy hours is that you get to come, not just meet those professionals, but we always offer a tour for people, a short tour at the end, um, as well as a, it's a chance to find out a little bit about membership, both by kind of informally meeting the members and realizing they're not that different from uh, you and I, uh, and the other thing is uh, you hear a little bit more about the details, any promotions for membership to join the club. And now when you say they're not that different than you and I, are you saying they all wear ascots? No, <laughs> I'm saying some wear ascots, that's true, some wear neckties, Cer some wear beautiful Certainly dresses. Certainly the women though. Chantal, you've been to one of these happy hours, why don't you tell us about it? It was really great to meet with other um, professionals in the area, but even more so to meet the members and feel comfortable. You guys mm -hmm. are likable, you're approachable, you didn't feel like, you know, that you were in the company of people who you couldn't get to know better or who didn't want to help you get to know other business professionals, so it was an amazing. I definitely felt safe and in the, I felt like I was in the company of peers who I was just meeting for the first time. Mm -hmm. You know, I was not the only woman there, I was not the only minority, I wasn't even the only small business owner. There were people who had their professions, you know, for decades and then some of us who were still kind of at the beginning stages. It was, an, it was a great mix of people and an amazing experience. The mix between old and young and male and female? Completely vast. You really felt like you were, you know, in the company of as many different, you know, different types of people as possible. There was no way that anyone could really feel uncomfortable. And I'm the type of person, if I don't know that someone I know is going to be there, I kind of want to stay home. <laughs> so <laughs> I got there and I didn't know anyone there and then immediately, you know, people just felt warm enough to come up to you and, and, and inquire about your business. And the members even wanted to inquire about, hey, you know, what are you doing here? Not to mention there's also a, a moment in the evening where there's a free giveaway. So <laughs> yes. we didn't get it, but it was still well, nice. What did they give away? They gave away a bottle of wine. I okay. think it was two. Yes. So. <laughs> we always give away uh, some wine, uh, usually wine that's been featured in the recent wine societies. Uh, we also give away a preview membership uh, to one lucky individual each each quarter. You let me know when they give away a bottle of bourbon, I'll show up. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier you mentioned your chef. Yes, Chef Coven. Uh, he has been with the club for about 20 years and he does uh, remarkable food and when you're at the happy hour you only get to taste a little bit of things there's some you know complimentary apps but one of the great things also is uh, if you register and make a reservation online before you attend the happy hour as a guest uh, you are invited to come and stay and have dinner um, you, you would of course have to pay for your dinner uh, but uh, it is one of the best ways you can really try all that Chef Coven and his staff have to offer. Everything from, I mean, I know crab cakes are very competitive in this area, but while many, not everyone says they're the best, nobody complains that they're anything well, but a monster. you say not everyone says, says they're the best, but I can tell you that our producer, when she was bringing us into the show, said that uh, she's tried those crab cakes there and they're the best she's ever had. Well, then there you go. I don't, <laughs> I, I'm maybe too humble. You must be, you must be. The food's great. Food is but, spectacular. Tell us about the pricing. Uh, well, I mean, as I like to say, we don't rake you over the coals once you're a member. Uh, one of the great things about coming to the club and being able to come there and visit regularly if you're a member uh, is that the pricing is really on par, and in some cases actually better than a lot of the surrounding restaurants. Uh, you know, if you're paying $4 for a beer at, uh, at a bar outside of the club, you're probably paying $4 for that beer, you know, inside the club. Certainly Baltimore is a city where you can find restaurants of any quality you want, three, four, five-star restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, I would assume the club's the same. Uh, the club is, is the same. It's got, of course, a gorgeous dining room. You may have seen that earlier with a beautiful marble. Um, and we also, I mean, we, we price everything, the, the, not just the delicious food well, but uh, the beverage as well. We have a wonderful list uh, that I update regularly, which is uh, 36 bottles of wine, $36 and under, uh, which is a wide variety of wines from around the world. Uh, and you have that, that kind of confidence to know, like, hey, I'm not spending a lot on this bottle of wine, but I know it's going to be of good quality. Quality. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yep. When I was there, I could not get over how professional and courteous the staff is. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a member or not, you really feel like royalty when you're in that whole environment. No one was, you know, overlooking any aspect of your comfort, and that was really great, and it added to the experience. It is certainly uh, one of the benefits of being a member of a club uh, is that the staff gets to know you, and while as wonderful as you felt uh, being a guest and being there for your first time, 
it only gets better as you're a member and that staff learns to recognize you uh, and learns to be even more you know uh, accommodating and more anticipatory of what your needs are when you're a member yeah I've been a member of any number of clubs in the past and I can tell you that the most enjoyable is especially on the food side mm -hmm. when, when I go into a restaurant and the maitre d or the waiter knows my name and comes and says the usual it makes you feel great makes you feel like <laughs> <laughs> makes you feel like I belong here well, yes and well and as you mentioned Chantel you already felt like you belonged from the moment you stepped in and, and met a lot of those members and I think that is one of, that's one of the true benefits of the club I mean the asset is the mansion but the real benefits are the warmth of those people um, and how uh, connected they are uh, with each other. That was great, Jane. We'll be right back. We're going to go to a quick break. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jerry Gatka, your host. Chantel Fielder, my co-host. We're dis we're discussing the Engineers Club with Jay Bittner. and Chantel, you were just there, and honestly, you have a new business that's that fits right in with what you're talking about here at the Engineers Club. Well, I'm a wedding gown designer, and I noticed that um, you guys allow weddings to be held here at the Engineers Club, and it's an amazing, amazing location for anyone to get married in. Yes, uh, you're exactly right. Uh, weddings are one of the most beautiful events that happens at the Engineers Club. You, of course, need to join the club in order to have a wedding, but there is uh, a membership set up specifically for that purpose, which makes it very easy. And again, going back to earlier about being on par with area businesses, it's, uh, it's very on par with where else you might go in the city to rent a room or a hall uh, for a wedding. Um, and the weddings there are spectacular. I, I speak from personal experience because I was married and had my reception there. Um, and not only felt the service we talked about, but when you look at all the photographs of everybody dressed, you know, to the nines, and, and I'm sure glorious dresses like you design or tuxedos like I wear, etc. Uh, with you, an ascot. With an ascot. <laughs> and you, you see uh, those pictures and you think you're in the White House or Buckingham Palace. The setting is incredible um, and you know everybody talks about weddings days and days and weeks and years afterwards but I think what's remarkable is how uh, those photographs that I look at not just my own wedding but others you look at and they have this timeless nature that really echoes the love that couples are celebrating when they get married there well thanks Jay for being our guest and telling us all about the engineers club and the history and the memberships and all of the activities going on there. My pleasure. Is there anything else that you want to tell our audience before we leave? Come and visit the club. Come and visit the club, call ahead of time, Jay will set up tours, come for dinner, and experience the ambiance of the Engineers Club. Bye-bye, everybody.